Hi, I'm Rebecca Yates, the product manager for telehandlers here at JCB. Behind me is a 51256, 74 horsepower. It's the first and only 12,000 pound telehandler that doesn't require any def at all. No after treatment, keeping your costs low. It's one of 15 different models of telehandlers we have here at JCB. We've got a telehandler to fit any of your applications. We have a lot of different attachments that can fit on the front of your telehandler to meet any of your application needs. One thing that's come up recently that's been a requirement is this lift hook for suspended loads. You will not find a better, more well-integrated lift hook on any machine in the industry. The boom on the JCB telehandler is one of the most unique parts about it. At JCB, we make our booms a little bit different than everyone else. We take one piece of steel and it's bent, and then we weld one piece of steel here on the bottom. And that really creates a very strong boom because we've reduced the number of welds in every boom section. Now we're gonna move on to talk about the engine. So at JCB, we make our own engines. And this, again, has a 74 horsepower JCB Ecomax engine. So as a reminder, no DEF, no DPF, no after treatment whatsoever. Another good thing about the JCB engine is it's really easy to do your daily checks. So your dipsticks are easy to get to and your filters are as well. At JCB, not only do we make our engines, but we make the entire drivetrain as well. So we make the engine, the transmission, and the axles. And even beyond that, we make the chassis, the boom, and the cab. So we're very unique in the industry that we make all the major components to our telehandlers. We do offer a 109 horsepower engine, and if this did have 109 horsepower, there'd be an SCR canister right here in the engine pod. It would require def, but it's an easy solution and it keeps the cost still low. As we move around here to the back of the telehandler, um, this is an area where visibility can be pretty critical and sometimes can be very difficult to see out the back for the operator. So at JCB, we've actually done a cutout over our hydraulic tank that allows the operator to see out through and over their right shoulder to this very critical spot in the rear of the machine. If this would be a 109 horsepower machine, the DEF tank would be right here and it would have a blue cap. We also have the diesel tank, easy to get to, ground level, which has a green cap. So you don't want to mix them up. So the caps are different, the size of the nozzle is different, and there's even two separate keys to really eliminate cross-contamination. So now we've made our way around into the cab. JCB, we've got one of the largest cabs in the industry for telehandlers. You can get it as a canopy or as a full cab with heat and AC. Easy to use controls. We have a single lever joystick for all your boom controls. We have frame sway that's standard as well as three modes of steering, two wheel, four wheel, or crab to really be able to maneuver a telehandler around any kind of job site. We do also have a joystick cutout switch that's standard in JCB telehandlers. And this switch can be used if you're roading or if you're putting a load up at height and you just want to make sure that no accidental boom movement may happen. Lastly, I want to talk about LiveLink, the JCB telematic system. It really gives the operator and the owner information about GPS, diagnostics, also security information. Um, it's a really good tool to be able to understand the true performance and productivity that you're getting out of a JCB telehandler. So this concludes our walk around of the 74 horsepower JCB 51256 telehandler. The telehandler is one of the first pieces of equipment on a job and one of the last to leave. The JCB line of telehandlers really gives you a full range of options, no matter what your application, to make sure that you can get the job done well. If you need more information about JCB telehandlers, please visit one of our local dealers or visit our website at www.jcb.com.